we expanded it tenfold. We took uh, concepts that they had and we made them play about characters. The key name was modernizing. Therefore, what is modern? If you, well, it's realistic, it's grounded. Boots on the ground, mud, with mud on the face. Yeah, uh, see the pores. So we had to ground the world. You don't talk about suffering and then you show a destroyed castle. That's, you need to see how suffering and the cosmic horror and how the, the, the evil of the world warps the family, the, 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 the innocent. Immersion, I think, is the key word to answer your question. Because the, the high fantasy, it's very allegorical, it's very, uh, let's say, yeah. over the top. Yeah. Over the top, yeah. Everything is exaggerated. But fun, right? Uh, yeah, super fun, right? But we wanted to, to one of the, as he said, right, like one of the ways to modernize IP, to, to actually make it relevant to more people, was to actually make it believable, immersive, right? Grounded. So you can really feel that, okay, these are lived in space. I can believe this is a real place uh, that, that people is here and they live here and now I'm going here with my sword and so, you know, chopping heads, right? The main takeaway is that we set out to make more Lords of the Fallen. It was not a change of design of concepts. We're not making a performance that person action game. No, we were we helped whatever the Lords of the Fallen Marshal. And uh, we were we were in comfortable territory, so we were quite happy to do so. We, we didn't want to change the formula too much. We wanted to modernize it. So we took all their mechanics from the experience multiplier to the runes to everything they marshaled, the three schools of magic. We could have added six schools of magic. We focused on three. Um, we absorbed the lore. We have uh, our own incredibly smart lead writer who uh, set upon the task ravenously. And it's a Wikipedia. 100%. And uh, we talked together a lot and we, we took absolutely everything. And then we expanded it tenfold. We took uh, concepts that they had and we made them play about characters. So, as Saul mentioned earlier, in order to have this project greenlit, because CIA Games put everything behind us and we were incredibly humbled. And with all this money, you know, they, they, there's that saying in the industry they give you enough rope to hang yourself. So, <laughs> we scoured the soul set, the feedback. And the feedback was very clear. We, we, we come from the trenches. We knew it as well. So we had our own ambitions on top of that. Obviously, just answering feedback seven years later is not exactly, you know, a competitive game four years down the line because you always have to work. Mm. Back then, Dark Souls 3 was the golden standard and we didn't want to make Dark Souls 3. So when we were looking at all these concepts, all these needs, and we try to find ways how to marry them together in an elegant one paradigm, not creating many parasitic mechanics to address each one. And this is where Umbral, the concept of playing of when you die, because we wanted to, we wanted first, we wanted to improve on the loop death cycle. We looked in the future, we said, is this something that we could improve rightly is the death cycle. So, then we started asking ourselves questions, such as, okay, but what happened? Do you resurrect in the same place? No, you cannot do that. You need to be able to, to find new ways when you die to, to weaponize your knowledge and the environment. So it needs to be a different thing. Are you trapped there for how long? How does this place look like? And the Umbra became this shell, this horrific, scary shell when all the soul flame mechanics and interactables, this is a way to interact with the world. And we have the soul flame to, to, you cannot do it in between worlds, but you raise the lamp and you're with one foot in each world and you can take advantage of situations. But if something happens, you lower the lamp that. So Saul said during that fateful Zoom meeting, guys, stop. Because we opened the Pandora's box. We cannot build two games. <clears throat> we cannot build two games. Well, joke's on him.